Now, how do you, uh, anybody can chime in, how do you integrate those things that you just talked about um, with the water, getting them back in the water? I mean, does anybody have them do a drill or an exercise on a machine like this or on anything on land and then go back, you know, immediately go into the water to try to uh, have them remember that motion? Uh, practice that motion in the water? That's a great idea, <coughs> but, you know, our, our vast trainers are pretty far removed from our, our water because uh, our pool area is pretty toxic to metal things. And, uh, right. So now what we do do is we do cycle between this machine and actually the, the erg, which is a little bit more like a swimming type motion. And so um, quite often she'll do sort of like an endurance set here and then go work on some technique and go back to her endurance. Great. We will uh, sometimes <coughs> have a, a, a practice that may feature about five or six different stations of um, wor working on some technical concept on land and then moving, moving that to the water in the form of a drill and then the progression finishes with some pretty fast swimming of whole stroke, um, whatever it is we're working on. And so with the Vasa trainer, we that, that, that'll be a big part of it. We may do you know, some of the slow work that I showed. We, we will also um, pr practice explosive movements, and so we'll crank it up pretty high and put a couple bands on and ask the <coughs> athletes to, to uh, hit the top, basically. That's kind of a, me a, a good general measurement of success for them. Hit the top as many times as they can. Uh, and then come to the water and do something really explosive for usually less than about um, 15 seconds or 25s or maybe some other some other kind of resisted swimming so they can make a connection between the resistance they feel on land to some resistance that they feel in the water and it may be against a cord um, it may be with paddles with fins but I think it's it's we, we've used it as kind of a starting point for establishing a concept whether it's explosiveness or a particular uh, technical part, and then we pr try to progress it to the water. So there's some teaching and um, metabolic training involved. Rob and I had talked about this, but I had never personally gotten on the erg and trained with it. I, you know, watched our swimmers do that for years, and I, a couple months ago, got on for three successive weeks every other day and worked out for about 30 <laughs> minutes. And he had told me about this, and I didn't really think that I didn't think anything about it, but. He would mentioned another one of his stories. But I was particularly focusing on really using correct technique, and I wanted to do everything, you know, perfect stroke every time. Uh, so I, I made a point to try to do that. And after a couple weeks, I would go every other day into the pool. I actually started, instead of feeling like on the bench, like I was in the water, it was the reverse that was happening. I actually, in the water, started feeling like I was on the bench swimming, and it, it was an interesting phenomenon I didn't really expect, but you actually transfer the learning that you get from here to the water, rather than vice versa, which I, I think is good. I mean, to me, that's a, it's an important concept. Yeah, that's, I think what you're referring to is that, that we have a, a master swimmer customer that re just <coughs> randomly reported to us that you know he got the urg because he needed something, to, he couldn't get to the pool, it was a life logistics situation, and he thought, okay, I'll try to, I'll try to do on the ergometer what I do in the water. And after a few weeks, what he discovered was that he was going back to the water trying to swim like he did on the erg. And because he felt like that was faster and it was, and I, I think it has something to do with the way the frame of the machine is set up. You've got a monorail going down the center so it prevents you from crossing midline. You can line up your, your hands and fingertips and arms and pull in a, kind of a straight back way versus the, the old S pull. So there's some biomechanical advantages of, of uh, mm -hmm. setting up your, your stroke and your frame because of the way the machine is, is set up. 